at APAL's Post Harvest Seminar, Dr Hannah James, AgroFresh's Research and Development Manager for Australia and New Zealand, talked about using SmartFresh to store pears. We started out by asking Hannah about the difference between maturity and ripeness. So when we're talking about a pear, uh, a mature pear is um, what we talk about as a harvest of maturity and it's a pear that has, if it's mature, it can ripen after harvest. If a pear is immature, it will never ripen during the post-harvest um, period. Whereas when we're talking about ripening, that's when a pear gets to a condition that a consumer wants to eat it. So ripening is what happens after harvest and maturity is what we get out of the field. Great. And you were explaining in your presentation a little bit about what consumers actually want from their pear. Can you describe some of those qualities? So it depends a little bit on what um, variety that we're talking about. Some pears um, soften quite a lot, whereas others stay quite firm and crunchy. But when we're talking about a pear that, that softens a sort of traditional European pear, then um, firmness and sugar and flavor are the, the things that consumers like. And when we're talking about firmness, it's that range of sort of one and a half to three kilos of firmness. Um, is that range that a consumer wants. And that low end of that is what we've described as like a Williams pear, that's that buttery, soft, juicy texture, whereas the, the three kilos is more that sort of crunchy but sweet, juicy texture. Lovely, okay. So the one thing that I think uh, our producers will be interested in is the, is the interaction that you were discussing between smart fresh application, storage length, and conditioning periods. Can you discuss that a little bit and thinking about some tips that growers might be able to implement? Sure. So. Um, SmartFresh is a technology that's been used uh, a lot in apples and then we've had some experience with it in pears. And um, just like in apples, what it does for pears is it increases storage life by maintaining firmness during storage. And so one of the um, challenges that we've had with pears is that they, um, we want them to soften at some point in time. So unlike an apple, which we want to be crunchy the whole way through storage and distribution, a pear we want firm when we want it firm, but we want it soft when we want it soft. And to make that transition happen can be, um, can be a challenge. So SmartFridge is a great tool for maintaining the firmness during storage. But then what we see is that when we want that pear to soften, um, depending on when it is um, during storage that we want that to happen, the pear might need a little bit of help to, to start that softening process. So we've looked at a whole lot of different factors, and pears are really quite a complicated crop. And one of the areas that we've looked at for, for really finding something that works and can work commercially is this conditioning protocol. What we do during that is we warm the pears up to 10 degrees, and that 10 degree number is really quite significant. Lower or higher doesn't work as well as 10. 10 is this really sweet spot um, to make pears ripen. So we'll warm them up to 10 for a variable period of time, and then we can cool them back down again, and that will initiate ripening in a, a smart fresh treated pear and allow it to soften and go through that normal um, process. And so what are some key points that you think could be good messages for, for growers and um, packers to take from your presentation today? Sure, so there has been some sort of mixed messages about smart fresh and pears in, in the industry. Um, we've been sort of quite cautious about go, going out with smart fresh and pears and, um, all over the world because we don't want to end up with this ripening inhibition in happening and that sort of getting through to consumers and people not getting um, pieces of fruit that they expect. So the key message for me is that uh, smart fresh is a great tool um, for managing pear storage. It's much more prescriptive in pears than it is for apples, so there isn't a one case um, fits all. It really does need to be managed with the, the variety, the intended storage, the intended destination. Um, but that we have a whole lot of tools in our belt for, for how to um, ripen a, a pear that has been treated with smart fresh. Thanks to Hannah for the interview, the Post Harvest Seminar sponsors Campbell Chemicals, Sumitomo Chemical and Isocell and APAL's corporate partners AgroFresh and EE Muir & Sons for their ongoing support. For more information about post-harvest management of apples and pears, please visit APAL's website.